This video is going to show you how to add vectors by components. This is part two of three of the little series. Hopefully you've already seen part one. So what I'm going to do is I have to take my vectors apart, add the parts, and then put it back together. So here are my vectors. And if you have this handout, you can go ahead and take notes on it, or you can just follow along. And to start with, I'm going to draw a triangle for each vector so I can deconstruct my vector into its components. So I'll have my little triangles for A, B, and C, and D where the vector becomes the hypotenuse of my triangle. Now, just like I did in the previous video, I'm going to label them subscripts, X for everything going horizontal, B for everything going vertical. So now I can talk about my pieces. And then finally, to get ready to do all this, I'm just going to add up the number of blocks so I can find out how long each component is. So A has five horizontally, three vertically, B is two horizontal, three vertical, C is three and three, and D is one horizontal and five vertical. So there are my components' lengths. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add A plus B equals R1 using my graphical method. There's A, there's B, there's R1. And I can look at the components of R1 in the X direction and the Y direction, my RX and my RY, and I can count the number of blocks and get my lengths, 7 and 6. Now, I'm going to look at the components of A and B in the X and Y direction. So I know in the X direction it's 7 and the Y direction it's 6. Now let's look at the components of A and B. So if I look at the components, I'll just add up the x components first. There's ax and bx. And then I'll look at the y components of a and b. So there's a and there's b. So that's a plus b. And my answer is the same. Components, if I look at those, I can see that's 5 and 2 horizontally. That's going to equal 7. And vertically, I have the vertical component of 3 and 3. And that's going to equal 6. The same answer I got on the left. So if I look at this in terms of math, use that to model it, I know that 5 plus 2 equals 7. Or if I look at the, the variables or the concepts here, I can see that A in the x direction plus B in the x direction equals R1 in the x direction. Vertically, I've got 3 plus 3 equals 6. That's on the right-hand side. You can see vertically 3 plus 3 equals 6. In terms of the variables, I've got AY plus BY equals R1Y. In other words, A in the vertical direction plus B in the vertical direction equals the answer in the vertical direction. So what I've done here is I've taken apart, deconstructed my vectors, added up the pieces that go in the same direction, and then I constructed my final answer by putting my, together my pieces and drawing my hypotenuse. Okay, let's try one more, but this time I've got to assign some directions. So like in math class, if it goes to the right, I'll make it positive. If it goes up, I'll make it positive. If the vector points left, I'll make it negative. If the vector points down, I'll make it negative. So I've got some directions and some signs to put on my numbers. So this time I'll do A plus C equals R2. So there's A, there's C. And C goes left, so it's going to have a negative piece to it. Here's R2. And I can look at the lengths of R2 in the X and Y direction. And so I can see I've got R2 in the X direction, R2 in the Y direction. In the X direction, it's 2. In the Y direction, it's 6. Now let's look at the components of A and C. I'm not going to redraw them. I can just add them all up. So I can create my little math equation here to find my components. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So A in the Y direction plus C in the Y direction equals R2 in the Y direction, which is 6. Hey, that's my answer in the top. And in terms of components, 5 plus negative 3 equals 2. So AX plus CX equals R2 in the X direction. So really I didn't need to draw that. I could have just found out the lengths of AY and CY and added them up and drawn my vertical line, R2 in the Y direction, which I have in my picture. And horizontally, I could have just found out the components, 5 plus negative 3. Notice it's negative because C points left horizontally, which makes it negative. So C plus a negative 3 equals 2. So I could have just drawn R2 to the tip of R2Y, I could have drawn R2X two units over. And if you look at my diagram, that's exactly what it shows. R2Y goes up six, R2X goes over two, and then I just drew my answer of R2. I constructed my vector from the components. On to part three.